These files are property of the Republic Archives. Possession of these files by unauthorized individuals is prohibited by law, under Act 190. If you are an unauthorized individual in possession of these files, we heavily advise you return them to your local branch of the Interplanetary Police Force under threat of 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 Uh. Records from the Reva Episode 1 Philip Scott Written by Boudicca Eads and Nolan Edward Finley This is Investigator Ezra Barnett, starting week two of Case 721, report of the events aboard the Reaver, Imperial Academy Ship 37. Ah, <sighs> a rare and beautiful day at the office. Not many people here, coffee that actually tastes like coffee, and a memo from head office telling me to get my shit together and find the bastard crew of the Reaver before they're all lost in the abyss forever. This doesn't come out of any wish to rescue them, mind you. No, the traitors will be cursed, and then killed, and then cursed again for good measure. If, uh, I mean, when, we find them. When I find them. This has suddenly, without warning, become the most important case of my career. And that is not something to, to take lightly. In a career like mine of nearly 50 cases, it takes a lot to even break the top five. And these kids, these goddamn kids, have flown up there with ease. So far, well, I'll be the first to admit it, I've been doing a pretty bad job. Caught up in their interpersonal affairs rather than the big picture, getting, well, frankly, getting attached. Not that I care about these traitors, no, just that I've been distracted by the drama of it all. I blame it on my lost youth. <sighs> Found my first gray hair last night. Not a pretty sight, I tell ya. Not a pretty sight. To be fair, I didn't actually know I was leading the search party. I just thought... Well, I just thought it was a standard report that we didn't care what happened to them. That they are dead or far enough away that they'll die before doing any real harm to the Republic. Why wouldn't I? But no, no. Apparently, there's a deadline on this case. And that deadline is as soon as humanly possible. Thank you very much. Not to criticize head office. No. Of course, we need to find them, but... Look... Can I be honest with you? I've never had to hunt people down before. I mostly do paperwork and come up with silly little ideas to make our system run smoother. <clears throat> and goddamn, our system could run smoother. Do they really know how difficult it is to gather information when you're dealing with sentient tech? I think not. I heard our officers quite literally had to manipulate the surveillance from the reaver storage. That ship fought like a bloody hydra, I tell you. And we still only managed to get the audio. Ugh. Look, I know. I know sentient AI is so much easier to maintain in space, that the life support systems run better, the ships need less repairs, they can be healed with magic, blah, blah, blah. I know. It just feels like they didn't even begin to consider how frustrating it would be for the archivists and investigators. I mean, really, have some thought for the little guys. Uh, but when the Republic calls, the Republic calls. And who am I to resist such a sweet maiden?
Jacob, what's going on? What the fuck is going on? FX for YJ, you are under arrest for the suspected murder of Philip Scott. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention, when questioned, something which you would later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. <sighs> yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jacob, no! Tell them, tell them you did nothing wrong. We don't know that. Officer, I swear there's no way he... I swear he's... He's not... Tell them, Jacob, God damn it, say something! Kate, come on, you've got to do something. You can't do this. There's no cause for arrest. This is literally illegal. Stand down, Harmon. This has nothing to do with you. Like hell it doesn't. He's my friend. <sighs> you've changed your tune. Not to mention a member of my unit. You can't just arrest him. He's done nothing. Nothing. We don't know that. Ever heard of innocent until proven guilty? If you won't let him go, guess we're doing this the hard way. Ingrid, don't. You'll only make it worse. Lou, please escort your chief and Vega back to the dorms. Gladly, officer. I'll walk myself. And you're charged with attempted assault of an officer. Put your hands where I can see them. Yeah, yeah, you just try getting those things on me. I'll see you at the dorms, cadet. If you had anything to do with this, I don't care what the courts say. I'll kill you myself. <clears throat> That's enough, Lou. Go back to your room, wait for our next command, and don't let Harmon or Vega out of your sight. You got me? Yes, officer. Let's get you to the holding cells. You have some paperwork to fill out. Ooh, goody. <coughs> oh, hi, Meredith. It's me, Blaine. Your daughter's ex, remember me? Well, can I speak to you about how I'm bloody heartbroken since, you know, it's your job and all? And yes, I recognize how uncomfortable this is, but really there is no one else I can talk to. Oh, God. I... <laughs> Welcome to the Imperial Academy's off-ship listening service. Our listener, Meredith Harmon, cannot take your call right. Crying out loud, really? <laughs> Thank you. Ugh, this is so boring. Seriously, I wish Sai had just arrested me. Prison with Jacob sounds better than this. Yeah, I'm sure it's a blast. Shut up, a little respect for the dead. I mean, really. I'm sad, of course, but Ren is dead. Terrible, yes. But not as terrible as a life in prison for a crime you didn't commit. <laughs> he didn't do it. He would never. Kay, back me up here. I, uh, why don't we let the subject drop for now? What? I just, this is all so fresh, and I would prefer to sit in silence and get a better view of things. Now is not the time for diplomacy, Kay. Our friend is in prison. I know that. I know that. But, well, what's to say it wasn't him? You don't- No, I don't. But we can't rule it out. We, I, need to be prepared for anything. Unit 42 will not suffer because... Because one of its members has been falsely arrested for the murder of one Ren Scott? You must be so lonely down there. I mean, you can't be sarcastic to this war, can you? <sighs> well, maybe if you're Jacob. Oh, they've probably bound and disconnected him. Must be driving him insane. Can you imagine having access to every piece of knowledge in the world, and then, poof, it's gone? <sighs> Stay here. I'll be back in a minute. Maybe... Yeah? She's just... Yeah. This is all a bit much for her. <laughs> it's too much for all of us.
did you give this to me? Who are you? Right. No one's leaving this room until some things are resolved. <laughs> some things. Yeah. <sighs> I really don't see why we have to do this. It's an open and shut case. Open and shut my ass? And anyway, those two didn't even know Ren. Not like I did. Uh... <laughs> it seems no one on board really knew Ren all that well. <sighs> but I'm afraid this concerns all of you. Sir? As it stands now, the three of you are the only ones who know that Ren is dead. And it's going to stay that way, whether you like it or not. Yes, yes sir. I didn't quite hear you there, Vega. <sighs> what do I get if I say yes? This is not a negotiation, Vega. Oh, I think it is. What do you want? Visiting rights. For Jacob. Out of the question. Oh, well then, no. Vega, this is no joke. I have the right to arrest you if you don't comply. Arrest me then. I'll see Jacob either way. All right. Although, of course, you don't know what kind of contingency plans I have. We'll deal with it. Will you? Fine. Once a week. Thanks, sir. Look, you don't have to keep this quiet for long. Just until I have enough information to properly brief people. Don't want to start a panic. Of course. Can I visit him too? Please. God, fine. You can all visit him, as long as none of this gets out. Thank you so much. Whatever. Jacob is to be tried at the Justice Center on Earth, as we are already heading there. Arguably the most prestigious court in the Republic, so I can assure you, he will be tried fairly, but... It's not looking good. What do you mean? He would never even hurt a fly. They have to find him innocent. The Jacob you knew would never hurt a fly. But how much did you really know? <clears throat> Look, I'll give you the facts. Jacob, a cyborg of immense technological ability, was found near the body moments after Scott's death. It would be well within his power to find him when he was alone and even easier for him to kill him without signs of any obvious cause of death. We've inspected the body, but they found none. Now, exactly how many people, or cyborgs, aboard this ship do you think could have done something like that? I... I'm so done with this bullshit. Vega? Don't tell anyone. Don't worry. I wouldn't want to give up my visiting rights now, would I? Are you seriously going to visit Rent? His murderer? I don't know. Well, Vega's exit seems like a natural place to stop this conversation. So all that's left for me to do is to tell you that if you need to talk about this traumatic event, the Reaver has a therapy procedure, or there's a line you can com. That my mum works for. Great. Thank you, sir. Come on, Kay. But- Come on! Hi, um, are you... Lane, what's up? Do you want to go shoot some targets with me? I... not really. Oh, okay. See you then. <sighs> oh, fine, wait for me. Aha! Prepare to be destroyed. Ditto. Hi. Hi. Did you actually drag your duvet all the way up here? Yep. Fuck, your hands are cold. How are you dealing with things? What do you mean? I don't know. Everything just feels unreal. Like, it hasn't hit me yet that he's... Dead? Yeah. Well, 
uh, it, I don't think any of us are exactly dealing with it very well. What are you saying? Just, um, that you're not alone. You've got Ingrid and Jacob, and you'll always have me. Will I? Yes. I'm not having this conversation with you again. You know I'll be here for you. Sorry. I... Can I have a hug? Of course. Hey, remember when we first met? Mm -hmm. I, I tried to hug you, and you just looked at me. Like, what is this crazy girl trying to do? And then you stepped back and drew your gun and said, Don't move. I'll shoot. <laughs> Look at us now, huh? Uh, I mean, who could believe it? Definitely not me. What about you? Do you believe... They... They wouldn't let me see him. The body, I mean. I don't know what I'm gonna do without him. <sighs> Maybe he'll haunt you. We could use some ghosts aboard the Reaver. That would be something. That would... That would be something. I mean, just to hear his funny voice again. Yeah. H hang on. Wait here. Kay? Would you like me to play this audio file? Yes, please. This is Philip Scott speaking with vital information for the people of Earth. The date is... Ugh, who gives a shit? And if you're listening to this, it means... It means I have failed in my mission to deliver this personally. And... And I have entrusted... You with carrying this to its final destination. Earth. I assume you know where that is, cadet. You are my last resort. This is highly sensitive information, and if you can't stomach it, well, <laughs> you have to, for the sake of the people. <clears throat> I'm sure you're familiar with that concept, cadet. Helping people, saving lives. That's what you do, isn't it? That's what you want to do. That's what you think you're doing. I know you mean well. You care about people. I can see that plain as anything. I know you care. And that's why I'm entrusting you with this vital information. You see, things aren't what they seem. You may think you're doing right by the people of the Republic. That you're helping people and bringing progress, but you're not. That's a truth I learned long ago from some... Very important people. Important to me and the fate of the world. Hell, the universe. And it's one you'd better start accepting soon if you want to do the right thing and honor my poor, poor dead self. Right. Now that we've both agreed that you're not going to leave this message, not until you've listened to the whole thing and hopefully rethought all of your life decisions, how do I start? Oh, right. Yeah, you've been brainwashed. Yay. Guess what? So of your parents, and your parents' parents, and your parents' parents' parents, especially your parents' parents' parents. They were super brainwashed. More so than any generation before or after them. But I'm getting ahead of myself. What is the next most? Magic! Of course! You may have noticed yours is weak. Well, probably haven't, but I'm telling you now, it is. There was a time not so long ago when one man could bring someone back from the brink of death with the touch of his pinky. Now, even all your concentration can barely heal a simple cut. Maybe it's just you, but probably not. 
Have you ever thought, ever truly considered where your magic comes from? Isn't it strange you don't have an answer? Don't you think after all this time we'd have figured it out? Think about it now. Close your eyes and try to picture where your magic comes from. Nothing, right? Your mind's gone completely blank? Yep. That's the brainwashing. Your magic comes from within. From your sense of self. Everyone's does. Did you know that? Turns out you probably have a pretty fucked up sense of self if you can't picture it, huh? Back to the point. You're not helping people, no matter your intentions. But here's your chance. I'm part of a group trying to save what's left of Earth's history. Who we were before the Republic invaded. And one day, rise against them. You can help us bring magic back to its powerful state. The state it once was in, the state it could be again. For years, we fought to remember the old ways, but at every turn we have been thwarted by your beloved Republic. You are under the thumb of violent invaders and you don't even realize it. You're all too wrapped up in nonsense to realize it. You are nothing but a cog in the violent machine that is the Republic, and every day your government expands its grip on the universe. You are complicit in the deaths of thousands, and yet you continue to serve blind. It's not just my world that has been destroyed. It's yours too. That's the saddest part. Whew, how to you I probably sound crazed. But remember the Ren you knew. Philip Scott really isn't so different, is he? It's still me, same face, same person, just a different name. So think. Would I really lie to you? About something as important as this? Something I put my life on the line for? No. Of course I wouldn't. And I wouldn't put you in danger either. Because if you haven't realized, you are in danger. You've been in danger ever since this recording came into your possession, and will continue to be for the rest of your life. Shit! Shit! Okay. Uh, I thought I had more time to explain this, but I guess not, so I'll leave you with this. The history you were taught. It doesn't match up. It's fake. It's all fake. One big lie told again and again. Look for the discrepancies, the inconsistencies, anything that seems off. Pursue it. On this chip, you will also find a file containing some of the most significant magical information we've recovered from the Republic archives to date. This is the most important thing out of anything else I've told you today. Use it wisely, and whatever it takes, make sure it gets delivered to the people of Earth. Scott out. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. What the, What the actual... What? Reaver, lock the doors. Don't let anyone in. No matter what. Holy shitting fuck, Harmon. What the hell do you do now? I tell you what you do, Harmon. You turn those despicable lies in and stop this right now! Shit. Uh, who am I kidding? How do you know how this goes? Nothing I can do about it now. Right. I'm going to see those nerds down in surveillance and see if I can't wrangle Sky's comm history out of them. At least the stuff she sent via the PCOM. The police at least had the foresight to confiscate that. This episode featured in order of appearance Akiva Vita as investigator Ezra Barnett, Willow Smith as Kay Harmon, Devon Bohr as Officer Zai, Jack Fairweather as Jacob Fields, Emily Burtwistle as Ingrid Vega, Chani Scarson as Sky Lou, Lida Byatt as Elaine King. Mark Trafal as Captain Arnold Abernathy, Chris Rogers as AJ Allah, Mads Franklin as the Reaper, and Cecil Sykes as Philip Wren Scott. Written by Boudicca Eads and Nolan Edisford Finley, directed and produced by Boudicca Eads with sound design by Mark Trafal, Nolan Edisford Finley, and Boudicca Eads. Music written and produced by Mark Trafal, Louis Trafal, and Rudy Reeves McHugh. Graphic design by Boudicca Eads.